Okay. You're nice. rolling already? I'm always rolling. All right. Welcome to Behind the Scenes of the World's Fastest Gamer 2. We are going to take you through an episodic experience of what goes in to crowning a champion. The 10 gamers for this contest are going to be going to some of the best circuits in America, driving some of the coolest cars. They'll be judged by three incredible talents. Dion Maddenborough, Rudy Van Buren, who won this last time, and none other than Juan Pablo Montoya. And one winner will be lucky enough to race GT4 next year full-time in Europe, a contract worth one million dollars. I, as well as some of the production crew, are going to be taking you guys on this journey behind the scenes. Getting to know them, getting to know me, and the cars, the Hulk, the cars. So don't miss any of it. Check it all out right here on Let's Go Racing. Well, well, well. That is the world's fastest elevator, but we've got the world's fastest gamers. This is the penthouse floor, the 56th floor. I'm just gonna barge in. Oh, wow. So this is pretty cool. This is pretty special. Um, as you can see, they're doing media, but we'll kind of walk in and make ourselves at home. That is one of the greatest views I've ever seen of Las Vegas. They've got an infinity pool. That is a freaking karaoke machine. This is a party penthouse. Sparko suit through and through, FIA fully approved. I think this is beautiful. And then look at this, a center tub with glass all around it. I don't even wanna know what this costs. Probably as much as some of the supercars that we'll be seeing throughout the course of this event. Sebi has been a part of the Red Bull Esports racing program for a while and Max, you raced against him in Porsche Cup. On the track, it's a competition, but when we're here, it's, it's fun. How sweet is this, though? You got a massive penthouse. The view is just breathtaking. It's ridiculous. Right now, I'm chilling here, trying to understand that this is reality, and <laughs> it's, it's so crazy. We didn't expect something like that. We're not feeling much pressure because we don't really know what to expect. I like that a lot. Uh, just have an open mind, enjoy the experience. Aaron probably flew the furthest from Macedonia. 21 hours, you just told me a minute ago. Well, yesterday it was a very, very long day. Yeah. We are all here very competitive people, and we are all here for the prize. I'm not scared of heights, are you? I'm actually petrified, but... Are you really? Yeah, I'm all right with it. You're not joking? That outweighs that. <laughs> really? <laughs> that, a slender man. We couldn't have asked for a better model at a better time. <laughs> These guys are finishing their dinner. Uh, they've been very polite to invite us in during such an occasion and into this absolutely beautiful space. But they've got to get an early night because they've got a very early start. It's Vegas, baby, though. I might not be getting such an early night. I think we've got other plans. Back to the hotel, we're gonna get some sleep. Mega early tomorrow. I think we're out of the hotel around 6:30 and we hit the road. It's gonna be a long day. I think they're all gonna be long days, but they're gonna be worth it. So we'll see you tomorrow, guys. All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, super early. We're heading out toward the Las Vegas Speedway today. We're gonna check out some pretty incredible cars. I'm actually super excited. The gamers are already there. Uh, they have no clue what's going on, which is kind of nice because they're in for a, a treat, I think. Ooh, I see cars already. I'm, I want to go straight to that. I love that we already have the uh, production crew setting up, getting ready for things. Oh wow, this is uh, quite the car park. That's some rubber laid. This is dream car stuff, and these guys are going to get their hands on these all morning. All right, we found Jan. You came from the Sim World, GT Academy. And now you're a bona fide pro racing driver. Yeah, I'm looking after Team Blue, so I've got five drivers. A lot of these guys they have never driven anything you know, exotic before. Get the foundations done, and then we're going to fine tuning and just speed. And then we get to see who's got the potential. Uh, Rudy Van Buren, another man who came from Sim, who did this exact contest, what, two years ago was it? What do you make of this experience? It's next level compared to what I did back then. What are you looking for out of the getting to know your, your five team members? You want them to start on a, on a safe base and then progress every lap instead of being one of the, the one lap heroes that goes out and has a moment, loses confidence and is going to be struggling with that all day. The gamers have found out what they're doing. They've all picked a car. It's Team Orange versus Team Blue. When Rudy told us, like, yeah, go pick your car. And it was like so exciting. And it was uh, quite a surprise, yeah. 
Yeah, it's Ten pretty sweet. Cars to choose from, and we just get to like that's crazy. This is insane. Which did you pick? The McLaren, the 570S. Oh, perfectly right behind us. How, how amazing is that? That's like we yeah. set this up almost. We didn't. We didn't. I picked the red Honda NSX. Ooh, I like yeah. it. Uh, Nissan GTR. So we've got two four-wheel drive guys here. AMG GTR. Yeah. Well, it has an amazing color, has rear wheel steering. The green Porsche GT2 RS. A man with good taste. We all got to get the feel for the car, get the feel for the track. Just take it easy and build up to it, I think. They almost want to get to know you as much as you want to get out and get to know the competition, right? Yeah. They've got to assess you guys from day one. Exactly. All right, um, we've been ushered off the set. We are behind the scenes, quite literally. They get to really step things up out there. See anything you like or don't like? I think there's quite some difference between approach from the guys. Yep. Uh, we have Camille, yep. really fast out of the box and then time stabilized. Max Benecki in the GT2 RS, yes, it's the quickest car, but as you saw his approach, he was quite slow ish in the first laps, taking his time, but ended out. So, Mitchell Dion, quite impressive in the Audi R8, definitely not the quickest car. Lambo, how was it? Amazing, yeah. It was really twitchy, really twitchy. I saw you get a few slides through the yeah, S. Yeah, no, we had quite a few. It was very late. There was quite a few times where it would be twitchy, but then you have to brake, and then it gets even more twitchy because you're braking while it's... Yeah, the center of gravity is already yeah. moving. GT2 RS, uh, natural choice for a German, I think. Yes, definitely. It's German, it's a dream car, 700 horsepower. Like my instructor said after me, show me your hand, I was like that. And he was like, oh, you had fun. You had fun. Yes, I did. I think I'm not looking fast because it's the first time I go on track and drive a supercar. First time on track and you're in an absolute beast of a car. Yes. Pretty sweet. Yeah. GT3 for you? Of course. How was it? I mean, it's got maybe lack some uh, yeah. straight line ability, yeah. a bit of... Which is crazy to say, <laughs> considering it is a fast car. It's just so well balanced car. I think it was a good choice. I know Rudy's an instructor and is giving you probably good feedback. Our resident rallycross expert. Good, good feedback. You see this color? Yeah. You know what team I am? That's true. He's actually sabotaging. Don't listen to a word Rudy <laughs> says. You've got a bunch of experience. X Games, what, gold and silver? Uh, that is not the esports team. That is legit Red Bull. For me, I mean, in more recent years, I've done rallycross. The speed that we drive at some of the tracks, it's pretty low in comparison to what we do here. So it's, it's completely different animal. You don't have dirt, obviously. You've seen the gamers have their go all day. But where's my fun? I want some fun. I'm a kid, too. We're going to have some fun. We're going to get a few laps in two very special cars. Let's go. First up, GT3. But I've driven this car before in Atlanta, uh, so hopefully it's as good as I remember. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I love the sound of a Porsche. And there's a good amount of straightaway out there too, so yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll get it up in the revs. So, uh, 911 GT3, not the RS version, this is the old man's version, if you can believe an old man would drive it. On the Vegas Exotics track, uh, which is a little techy, there's some camber in some of these corners, late apexes. This corner is kind of cool actually, it goes quite wide on the entry. I'll go. You good here? Over, yeah. yeah, cool. We can go around the Lambo. I mean, this car just drives so, so much confidence. A little tap in, stomp them. I brake really early there, but that's because we have an Audi in front of us. So we'll hold it tight on the exit. Yeah, mega good noise in the back of the Porsche. This thing's just so good, so balanced. I think the four wheel steering is a big part of that. I think they've done a really good job, Porsche, in engineering this car to still be a driver's car. Yeah, thank you, that's fun. Thanks, yeah, dude. Good luck your next one. It is exactly what I remember in a Porsche. I don't think my driving was spectacular. I think I was a little bit rushed. Considering how much power it has and how much rear engine it has, it's so good at getting on the power and just making you feel comfortable. I love the Porsche, in fact. This car also has four wheel steering. So similar to the Porsche, it's gonna give you a little bit of assistance on your entry. Ooh. This thing's got such a girthy wheel to it. It's huge. My little hands don't love it. So, uh, instant difference from the Porsche. Definitely weight. It's got a grunt. That sounds amazing. I won't lie. That sounds not as quite as high pitched, but it sounds amazing. It's nice to be over the rear axle. It's nice to have the front engine because the, the front end actually comes in rather well on this. Have to wait a little longer to get on the uh, on the power. So this is the corner. I tend to get deep here. Ooh, there's a slide. I like it. But it's pretty nice. This thing's got a ton of power to it, ton of grunt. This straightaway feels lovely. Straightaways always do. Cornering, it definitely has a nervous rear. You can definitely tell we're a little further back on it. You're feeling the back end more. Camber on the corner is lovely, I have to say. Good little addition. A little deeper. 
Yeah, tons of grunt. I can definitely feel the rear in this more than the Porsche. It does want to almost hop, like side hop. When it gets loaded up on the rear tire, you can feel it definitely start to bounce a bit. Well, um, quite a different beast, I have to say. I think I've gained a new respect for it. That's more of what I was kind of told as a kid about supercars. That's more of a, oh my God, it's an absolute animal. But it's got some grunt, it's got some balls. I think out of the two, I still prefer the Porsche. I can attack the Porsche a little more. Not to say that this isn't a fast and very capable car. In fact, I, I dare say this would be the faster car once you got used to it, but it definitely took me the three laps just to really start to get a feel for it. What a way to start off the contest. It's gonna get a little more serious. Gamers had their go. They're gonna get introduced to the race cars that they'll be in for the next couple of days. This is just day one as well for these guys. So be sure to keep up with all of the action. Hit subscribe down below on Let's Go Racing to follow all of the behind the scenes content from the world's fastest gamer too, all the way through California at some legendary circuits. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> The engine's not gonna save you from your mistakes. Don't make our sport look sh Our judges are going to be ruthless. These guys are... Okay. Oh, sorry, you're okay. How are you? How are you? I'm doing well. Are y'all filming a show? Uh, yeah, something YouTube. like that. Yeah, something like that, exactly. Yeah, exactly. She gets it. She knows. YouTube. You wanna say hi, everyone? <laughs> All right, I like it. Good. Nice to meet you.